All right, today we're going to learn a little bit about um, inductance loop design. Here I have what they call a national loop, and it's in the outer jacket of a, a flex tubing with a wire run inside for the windings for the loop. The problem with this design is because the wires are inside this cavity, they're loose. In fact, you can hear them just shaking them. And that's not a good idea on an inductance loop because as the wires move, they'll interact with the other wires, EMF fields, and actually cause a false detection, which causes a repeat service call. Actually, <coughs> to show you how that works, we're going to go ahead and hook this loop up to a detector. One. Two. And go ahead and energize the detector. And it shakes hands in the loop and it's showing zero detect. I'll just move this a little bit. You see how the uh, detector sees a false detection just from the wire moving around. Now, if the wire moves enough that it goes out 25% of the detector's range, it actually, the detector knows it's got a bad loop out there and it will actually lock up the detector and hold the gate open. You ever have a service call where you have an air pocket installed and the gate's being held open? This is a problem. Ground vibrations are causing these wires to move and you'll end up getting a false detection. Now I could recenter it and just to prove a point, you want to go ahead and zoom in on this? Can you zoom in on this little hole here? This is the wire that's inside that's making all the noise when I rattle it. Whoops. I'll reset the detector and just touch this wire. And now it doesn't show it. There you go. Uh, you can see how the detector shows a detection. A strong detection, in fact. And if I keep doing this enough times, if I move it enough, it can go out 25% and I'll actually lock up the detector. Well, there, now the detector is locked up and the gate's locked open, where now you have a repeat service call. Now you can get this problem to go away by turning down the sensitivity of the detector, but the problem when you turn it down and it goes away, but now you, can't, you cannot detect the bicycles or the high bed trucks. So it's a poor trade-off. It's better to uh, put a loop in that has no air pockets. That concludes our lesson for the day.